Okay, for this uh, radioactive decay question, we're going to need to use, uh, well, we're going to need to use the formula that the activity is equal to lambda n, where lambda is the decay constant, right? And we need everything to be in MKS units. So let's start with the half-life. The half-life is 28.8 years, and I'm going to convert that into seconds. I'm going to multiply by 3.16 times 10 to the 7 seconds divided by 1 year, and that's uh, 9.1 times 10 to the 8 seconds. Okay, so now lambda in MKS units is 0.693 over the half-life, so that's 7.61 times 10 to the minus 10 decays per second. Okay, so there's the decay constant. Now as far as n goes, um, the number of atoms, well, we know that the total mass is equal to the number of strontium atoms multiplied by the mass of a strontium atom. Okay, so N is the total mass divided by the mass of strontium. Now the total mass, we're told, is 2.2 grams, so 0 0.0022 kilograms. And now we're going to divide that by the mass of strontium, which is 90 AMU, but we got to convert that into kilograms by multiplying by this conversion factor. Okay, so if I do that, that calculation, I get 1.47 times 10 to the 22nd atoms. Now, I can calculate activity from lambda n using lambda n, and I get uh, 1.12 times 10 to the 13th becquerels. But of course, it asks for the activity in curies, so I got to multiply by one curie over 3.7 times 10 to the 10 back, and that gives me 303 curies. All right, so that's part A. Part B: How many years will pass before the activity drops to 0.53 percent? of its initial value. So our equation for this is A equals A naught e to the minus lambda t. And in this case, we're told that A over A naught is 0.53% uh, or 0.0053. Okay? So I'm going to set 0.0053 equal to e to the minus lambda t. Okay? You see how that works? Um, and so if I take the natural log of both sides, I get minus 5.24 is minus lambda t. So t is equal to negative 5.24 over negative lambda. And I'm going to use my lambda from up here. 7.61 times 10 to the minus 10 decays per second. So that gives me 6.89 times 10 to the 9th seconds, and if I convert that into years, I get 218 years. That's it.